Oh man, I could really do with a cup of joe. But there's no time for that. I have to go and find these medals. So back to the planetarium. So let's go to Sartorius' asylum now. Back where everything started. Okay, better brace myself. Hey, this is quite fun when you know you're not gonna die. Place looks like a damn microscope. Hope my legs can take the landing. Oh yeah, soft as a feather. Great, another freezing cold place. Ah, the lift. Gonna use that later. Let's check out this floor first. What is this? It's craziness. Bet these guys didn't volunteer for that. So those buttons stimulate different parts of the brain. Maybe I need a head to play with. If you was a genius, how come you ended up there, huh? No chance of remembering who you are now. You ain't gonna be hurting anyone anytime soon. Brains in a jar, huh? This place sickens me. Light. Ah, maybe there's some ice cream in there. Or a cold beer. Nah, just more brains. But there's a safe in here. Gotta find a way to open it. Whole place stinks of bleach. I was never any good at phrenology. Though I've cracked my head a few times, I can tell ya. Okay, I could put something in this chlor and drop it in this goo. That'll really make my day. Let's check out the rest of the floor and come back in a second. Okay, this is more my speed. Better with filing cabinets than brains. I can sense something on that table. The, the torch. I'm gonna touch it. Time for some more psychometry. Getting memories from objects. Hmm, 
wonder what Sartorius is looking for. A good candidate? Okay, let's keep digging in here. Just an anatomy chart. So many files, this could take a while. Ah, he's got one on Melvo. This should be interesting. Dear good doctor, I find myself getting weaker. I find I have strange fevers which leave me sweating profusely. At nights, I burn as if on fire. I thought I would be ready for death. Hey, cut out that racket, I'm trying to read here. Okay, where was I? I have spent my life preparing for the afterlife, but in my heart, I am not prepared. I am ready to do experiments. Risky as they may be, my mind is open. Thank you, Doctor. You are truly a misunderstood genius. For the first time in many months, I have hope of a life without pain. Knowing our need for further apprentices, I spoke to Madame Sophia of the Frigid River Branch Conservatory. I believe she is the perfect person to assist us in our quest. Francois. Dear Erasmus, I cannot sleep. The weight of intervention presses upon me. I believe, Doctor, that we have discovered a science, a philosophy, that will relieve us of the binds of mortality and of our bodies. It is a science that will surely transform the world. Yarak will praise this great work. Francois. So Malvo thought he'd found himself a cure. Gotta keep digging. There must be more information. Another open cabinet. Information on Lucian Kane. Father complains of rebelliousness and cowardice on the part of the subject. Behavior to be closely monitored. Father to be prescribed mild sedative. Looks like Lucian had a conflict with his father. Or the general was overreacting. Guess I'll find out more when I go to Castle Iron Dune. Leon Mason. This one has a beautiful cranium, huh? Might be a tough nut to crack. More files. Zoe Wolf. Looks like I found where Alexandria's mother came from. Guess they just used this woman and then gave the baby to Malvo to look after. Hmm. Just some mental patient that Sartorius could take advantage of. But then I guess she wouldn't be much of a mother. Patient X has a real colorful imagination, huh? Helium injection should empty excess liquid. That looks like a clue. No more clues in there. Okay, that's enough reading. I want some action.
Let's go check out that cranium in the basement. That's where the morgue usually is in these places. Okay, the doors are shut. Some kind of guillotine. And it ain't for slicing bits of paper. Vive la revolution, huh? I know there's a head in here that I need. Someone who has memories that could be useful. Just need to detach the head from its body. This is my grisliest assignment. Lucky no one's here to watch. No one's home. Okay, he's gotta be in here. I've looked everywhere. Okay, last. Recognize you from the mugshot upstairs. Okay, chill. Chopping time. You got any last words? Guess we'll never know. Okay, let's take you upstairs and plug you in. Okay, here we go. Come on. Right here. You want a piece of me right here, right now? I'll kill your freaking face off. Come on, take a swing at me. Come on. Guess I'm safe. God, you're beautiful. Uh... Come in a little closer, okay? I, uh, I think I love you. Yeah. Let me tell you a little secret. 36, 24, 36. Better write that down. <laughs> Reminds me of a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hello? Is somebody there? What is this, some kind of a joke? A joke. <laughs> what were we talking about? Beats me, buddy. Do I know you? Is that you, Louie? Heads are parts of bodies. I am a head. Thus, it would be only logical to conclude that I must be part of a body. Hmm. 
I must also infer that a different part of my brain must be feeling rather um, concerned about this issue right now. Schedule for a lobotomy. He wanted out. Stole a key. <laughs> How crazy is that? God's caught him. <gasps> Strip search time. He did the only thing he could do. So the guy choked on a key. Works for huh? me. Okay, buddy, enough already. Key and a combination. Okay. Let's light you up. See what we get. Twenty eighteen, and I can see the key. So I could try the combination 36, 24, 36, 2018. Here goes. This could take a while. Okay, 36. Twenty-four, thirty-six. Now I need a twenty-eighteen. Let's grab this goo and put it in that slop machine. people's thoughts but fishing around in their brains I think I'm gonna be sick okay now I have a key for the elevator let's see what floor it fits Looks like we're going up in the world. At least there's no elevator music. Top of the world, Mar. Some kind of weird distortion. Maybe I'm going crazy in here.
some esoteric books. Planetary coordinates for the pure soul. The connection between birth and the stars and the embryo, mystical conception and creation. <clears throat> the embryo, mystical conception and creation. Subject to him as that he sees the heavens open, the angels of Yorick ascending and descending and bequeathing to this one earth in perfect conception the pure birth of the corpus spiritus, the perfect human spirit. The mythical conception can occur but every seven solstice, when a perfect alignment of the sphere of the fixed stars follows the sphere of the planets. Saturnax, Jupiron, Mers, Venus and V, Hermes, the sphere of the moon and then the sphere of the four elements. The mythical conception, followed by the pure birth, lives fellow without the lives, lived in harmony with the spheres. I tried my best, sir. That's okay, buddy. Let's move on. Let's check out these scopes, see what we can see. An unfertilized egg. Just before conception. One broke through. Way to go, little buddy. Looks like you guys missed out. And cell division will take place. But you need a host. So, how they got the egg into the host. I can't. It's a sin. It's wrong. Oh, never. Your child will be conceived in purity. How? Miraculously. Divinely. And the child, her destiny will be great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and your name will be blessed for bringing this child to the great empire. It's time. <sighs> but why so much blood? Disgusting. I can sense there's somebody here. This way. Hello, is there somebody out there? You don't look so good. You're here for a treatment, aren't you? I'm sorry you're not on the schedule. You'll have to wait in the waiting room. Okay, that's long enough. I'm Dr. Sartorius, and I'll give you a treatment you'll never forget. Sit. Sit down! I'll get things ready. That ain't Sartorius. Some crazy woman. Guess I must be crazy to go along with this. Brace yourself. It's looking glass time. Ah! Whoa. Oh my. What has she done to me? Feel so good. Uh... Oh, my, I can't believe that. 
that worked. A secret elevator. Let's go up to the penthouse. I'm feeling much better. More Sartorius stuff. No TV, just test tubes. You must be daddy. Magic no longer interests me. The Enchanter's Guild now seems concerned only with power and money. Alchemy, the chance to solve the great mystery of the universe, is all I can think of now. There is so much suffering, so much pain and death. My father's science leaves much work to be done, but I will find the Philosopher's Stone and prove his name within the mocking circles of science. I am frustrated. I have devoted my career to completing my father's quest, but I now realize that one man cannot find the alchemical secret alone. Each element requires absolute mastery. Each metal requires absolute mastery. Each metal requires its own adept. I must enlist others in my search, but I must take care. Alchemy draws vain fools in search of common gold, and I must seek out only my more enlightened brothers. Every day I get closer to the truth. The others all want the elixir, each for his own mundane reason. I, on the other hand, search for the final, spiritual truth. One day soon I will possess the secret of eternal life, the quintessence. I will have perfect knowledge, knowledge enough to halt the growing evil that threatens us. This is powerful magic, and there is a powerful resistance, but we must not let it stop our work. The fifth essence is the quintessence, the elixir of life, the philosopher's stone. Alchemist fools through the centuries have looked at metals, vapors and gases, and love what rot. It is more of this, it is blood, this much my father knew. The blood, the essence of innocence. But where does this blood exist? How does one distill its purity? I am surrounded by blood every day. The spilt blood of the suffering. Yet the answers elude me. I am a disappointment. Is that Papa burning the midnight oil? The great man himself. Dr. Sartorius, it is being called to our attention that you have been practicing unorthodox and unauthorized magic. As you know, it is a violation of magic code 6547 for a non-guild member to engage in any magical practice. Cease and desist, or we will file for conjunctive relief. The Enchanter's Guild. Conjunctive, huh? That's bad. Dr. Sartorius, I understand you are still perfecting the science of the ritual, but we must act now. If we do not, the quintessence will slip through our fingers. 
Our work must be completed at the Temple of the Ancients. Write and I will arrange to meet you there. Soon, Doctor, as from Sophia. Dear Dr. Frobian, open your puny mind. Madness is a disease, not a state of mind. I see that every day my patients, forgotten waifs who have only me to defend them. And defend them I shall. Like any disease, if madness can be studied, it can be cured. How can I cure the body of disease if I am forbidden to open the body to study it? If I am denied funding for x-rays and medication and a staff of physicians, my asylum should be a place of progress, not the final resting place for the damned. Dr. Sartorius Dear Doctor, since your cure, my son has kept something of his magical eye. He still sees things that cannot be seen, and for a fortnight he has wept for you, day and night. He begged me to write you a warning. There is a great evil waiting for you. You will soon be dead, he cries, the asylum destroyed, your great work unfinished. He fears powers have been disturbed, and the innocent will pay. Good luck, Doctor. May Yark be with you. S.J.M. Ah, cute little miniature. Wonder what this does. It's activated a lift or something. Looks cozy. Sleeping with a hatchet, huh? He must have felt threatened. The Blood Alchemist by Dr. Lewis Sartorius. My son, I now lie on my deathbed. I leave so much work undone. I sense I'm close to the truth. Yet the quintessence still eludes me. There are rumors of an ancient underground temple, a shrine which has the power to create the Philosopher's Stone. It was created by an engineer named Agrippa, but his work disappeared. You must find it, your loving father. Instructions on how to purify tin. Better make a note of this. Touching that, I get fried. This could come in handy. Let's break it out. This is weird. Shake it, baby. You must be the brains of the outfit. Stumped on this one. That's enough messing about. Let's try and open this door now. Okay, let's fly up this ladder. I 
found Sartorius's lab. This is gonna be a gas. Looks like there's a blob of whatever metal that is. Tin, I guess. Oxygen and hydrogen. I said I wanted a bath, but that looks cold. Getting late, I better put my foot on the gas. Let's just try the hydrogen. Now we're cooking. Okay, let's try oxygen and hydrogen. That's looking good. Let's lift it up with the old helium. Et voila. Sweet home. Now we'll see how Sartorius died. Looks like Nemesis cooked him. Let's go and have a chat. I can smell my laboratory. My asylum. My asylum. Very good work. What's that? You've learned the truth about Alexandria's conception. You question our methods? That's understandable. The science of alchemy is precise and demanding. So we created a girl whose conception and birth met specified planetary coordinates. She was magical. The most important thing in the world to us. If only we could have saved her from the nemesis. But, you see, I know the secret to bring us and Alexandria and Lucian back to life. There is a chance we can all live again. Find the remaining metals. Then I guess we'll all just be one happy family, huh? I need to put my feet up for a second, have a little rest before I go on.